The best graphics cards are the beating heart of any gaming PC, and everywhere else comes second. With all your powerful GPU pushing pixels, even the fastest CPU won't manage much. A powerful graphics card or GPU is the lifeblood of any efficient gaming or creative PC. With dedicated graphics cards becoming more mainstream, the latest and greatest in graphics is more accessible than ever. A graphics card is one of the most important components of a gaming PC, if not the most. But just like most PC components, there's no single GPU that works for everyone. While some users may want the absolute ultimate gaming experience on PC, others may want something that offers the best value, albeit less powerful. Many are even looking for the best budget graphics card for a casual 1080p gaming experience. After hours of research and after taking experts' advice, we have listed the 5 best graphics card for gaming to help you choose the one that suits you perfectly. The links for the products mentioned in the video are in the description below. You can also find a more detailed analysis and a comparison tool on our website, pickadvisor.com. Let's get right into our top picks. Number 5. AMD Radeon RX 6800 XT At release, the AMD Radeon RX 6800 XT was poised to take on Nvidia's RTX 3080, and while the card doesn't quite take that GPU's crown, it does position itself as one of the best graphics cards from AMD. In 1440p, there are definitely instances where the RX 6800 XT is neck and neck with the RTX 3080, such as in Watch Dogs Legion at Ultra settings, though 4K is where the divide starts to show the most. The ray tracing capabilities of the AMD Radeon RX 6800 XT may be admittedly disappointing when stacked up with the higher end Nvidia GPUs, though it's in the extra VRAM where the speed of Team Red's video card starts to shine. We're starting to see more Radeon optimized games demand upwards of 11GB of VRAM, which only the RTX 3080 Ti and RTX 3090 are capable of at this time in titles such as Far Cry 6 with HD textures. This is a big jump, and it's likely that we'll see more developers in the near future wanting to utilize upwards of 12GB in this current PC gaming generation we're in. Number 4. GeForce RDX 3080 while the GeForce RTX 3080 10GB is one of the best graphics cards for gamers, the 3080 is an excellent GPU in the RTX 30 series lineup that's perfectly capable of handling 4K gaming at 60fps and above. Although the 3080 10GB technically has been superseded by the RTX 4080, the 4080 is simply too expensive to put the 3080 10GB out of commission. The 3080's biggest selling point is DLSS 2.0, which basically increases the frame rate in supported games by lowering the resolution and using AI to upscale it. The 3080 10GB also has respectable ray tracing performance, but enabling the feature often reduces the frame rate by nearly half. Thankfully, pretty much every game with ray tracing also has DLSS, and using both at the same time results in great visuals and good performance. One important thing that we need to point out is that we're talking about the 10GB in particular. There's an RTX 3080 12GB with slightly more cores and memory bandwidth in addition to the extra 2GB of VRAM. All things considered, the GeForce RTX 3080 is still the overall best graphics card you can buy for gaming right now thanks to its blend of features, performance, and acceptable price tag of around $700 to $800. Number 3. NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3090 it's hard to beat the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3090 when it comes to performance. With a whopping 24GB of RAM, no game or more importantly, heavy graphics project will suffer performance issues. In fact, we were even able to get some 8K performance at 60fps out of the 3090. It's an incredibly expensive unit and quite large too, so it will probably be too much GPU for most users. The NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3090 is in essence a replacement for the Titan, so it's meant more for the creative user tackling intensive 3 and video rendering than for the avid gamer. Even so, it comes with a massive reduction in price compared to the Titan, making it a bargain for creative professionals used to shelling out a lot of money for the tools of their trade. The NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3090 is the most powerful graphics card you can buy today, delivering playable 8K gaming performance along with jaw-dropping 3D rendering and encoding performance. However, you have to pay a high price for this level of power. For the vast majority of people, it's probably not worth the investment. But for creative professionals, the RTX 3090 is a downright bargain. Despite AMD's best efforts, the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3090 still sits atop the pantheon of most powerful GPUs. Powered by 24GB of GDDR6X RAM and cooled by a gigantic heatsink, it can keep up with the most strenuous demands, whether it's 3D rendering or hardcore gaming. It's so powerful that it's taken the place of two of the best graphics cards of the previous generation, the NVIDIA Titan RTX and the RTX 2080 Ti. 
NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3090 has filled their shoes admirably. It can not only provide stunning performance in 4K, but can even run the latest AAA games in 8K at 60fps, even if it's not perfect at that extreme resolution. And as capable as it's running the best PC games, this GPU is more suited to those who have to run graphically intense tasks such as video rendering or 3D animation. Number 2. AMD Radeon RX 7900 XTX the Red Team King is dead, long live the Red Team King. AMD's Radeon RX 7900 XTX has supplanted the previous generation RX 6950 XT at the top of the charts with a price bump to match. Ostensibly priced at $999, it sold out almost immediately, and now we'll need to wait for supply to catch up to demand. Still, there is good reason for the demand as the 7900 XTX comes packing AMD's latest RDNA 3 architecture. That gives the 7900 XTX a lot more potential compute, and you get 33% more memory as well. Compared to the 6950 XT, on average, the new GPU is 32% faster in our rasterization test suite and 42% faster in ray tracing games, and it delivers that performance boost without dramatically increasing power use or graphics card size. The second string RX 7900 XT falls behind by 15% as well, so saving $100 for the lesser 7900 doesn't make a lot of sense. AMD remains a potent solution for anyone that doesn't care much about ray tracing, and when you see the massive hit to performance for relatively mild gains in image fidelity, you can understand why many feel that way. Still, the number of games with RD support continues to grow, and many of those also support Nvidia's DLSS technology, something AMD hasn't fully countered even if FSR2 comes relatively close. If you want the best DXR RT experience right now, Nvidia still wins hands down. AMD's GPU can also be used for professional tasks, but here things get a bit hit and miss. Certain apps in the SpecViewPerf suite run great on AMD hardware, others come up short, and if you want to do AI or deep learning research, there's no question Nvidia's cards are far better pick. But for this generation, the RX 7900 XTX is AMD's fastest option, and it definitely packs a punch. Number 1. NVIDIA GeForce RTX 4090 The NVIDIA RTX 4090 is the most powerful consumer graphics card money can buy. It represents the best of what NVIDIA has to offer, and it easily topples everything else on the market when it comes to raw performance. The chances are that you don't really need one of these, especially if you're a gamer. The RTX 4090 is so insanely powerful that neither 4K nor ray tracing in current titles can bring it to its knees. It's significantly faster than AMD's flagship RX 7900 XTX, though cost a few hundred bucks more. The RTX 4090 makes more sense for content creators and those running applications that will benefit from massive GPU acceleration. It's the first NVIDIA GPU to come with a hardware AV1 encoder, though the NVENC encoder is no slouch either. For example, using the RTX 4090 with DaVinci Resolve, we managed to encode 4x30 long 4K 60fps video at 40,000 bitrate using NVENC. ENC in just 96 seconds. The massive horsepower also means you get no slowdown scrubbing timelines and applying edits. Even without using proxies or low resolution timelines, it's unbelievable. The RTX 4090 is built on Nvidia's new Ada Lovelace architecture and houses the colossal 8102 GPU with 16,382 CUDA cores, 24GB GDDR6X VRAM, a base clock of 2.23GHz, and Nvidia's third generation ray tracing cores. Is the first NVIDIA GPU to support DLSS 3.02 and has HDMI 2.1 outputs on the back. It's rated at 450 watt TGP, so it's thirsty and uses the new 12VH PWR power connector. NVIDIA includes a rather necessary but still unfortunate adapter in the box to use with your existing power supply. You'll need a minimum 850 watt power supply, though we'd recommend at least 1000 watt to give yourself some headroom. Getting the best graphics card for your specific needs is the only way you can get the best value for your money. It's not just about spending money on the most powerful GPU that will give you blazing fast performance in both gaming and content creation. Upgrading your PC with a graphics card can make a huge difference, whether you want a performance boost for gaming or content creation. However, getting the best graphics card for gaming is quite challenging when you have plenty of models available on the market with a decent design and innovative features. All the products mentioned above are a perfect blend of versatility and innovation, providing the users the best-in-class experience. Choose wisely which products use you the best and will fulfill all your requirements. Let us know in the comments which model works for you the best and why. Thank you for watching the video and that is all for this one. If you find this video helpful in any way, give a huge thumbs up. Stay tuned for the upcoming videos by subscribing to our channel. See you guys in the next one.